everyone, Cash here, back with another video from NBA 2K16. Today we continue our My Career with Trey Cash, and before we get to our game, we finally have enough VC to upgrade another attribute, and we're going straight to the jump shooter. We gotta continue to work on our jumper with this upgrade. We will now have 77 for the mid-range, 74 for threes, and 74 for moving shots as well. Hope you've been practicing, man. Always. You'll see tonight. I don't doubt it, but I'll be the one putting on a real show. Yeah, not a vibe, baby, to say about it. Best start warming up now if you want to be anywhere near my level. Always a talker, freak. See you out there, man. And what an intriguing conversation there with James Harden before the game. I think they'd be able to maybe coach those guys out to be a little bit better actors when they record that VO. But either way, we're into the game here. Trey throwing it down for his first points of the game. That's how we want to start this one. Beverly coming at us here. We're going to get the nice defense there and the rebound moving it the other direction. We're going to get it over to Barbosa. He's going to kick it back out. Trey, can we get the three? Yes, we can. Trey Cash and the attribute upgrade already come into good use. Here we're going to let Lawson buy us, but we're going to come right behind him, rejecting him. So what a perfect start here for Trey. Seven points. Let's get another rebound as that's number two. Still no assist, but can we get an assist here? Yes, we can. Carmelo Anthony with the alley-oop. We saw it the whole way as he's coming to the basket, and he throws that one down. So we now have our assist seven, two, and one. It's a 29-29 game as we're into the second quarter here. And the perfect pick and roll with Porzingis as he's going to lay that one in as we take the lead. We'll take a seat shortly after that, though. We're back in final minute of the second quarter. Ariza going to hit the three as it's now a big Knicks lead. We move into the third quarter now. We're back in for our time late in the third. We nearly lose the ball here. Get it to Smith, and he's going to hit it. Josh Smith hits the mid-range jumper. As it's now a 68 to 49 game, we have seven, three, and five. So we haven't scored any points since early in that first quarter. Beverly gonna get behind us here and we get the bad block attempt. As it's now 68 55, the Rockets making a little bit of a comeback here. Trey gonna lose the ball here. Patrick Beverly gonna poke it away as we should have just put it up there for the shot. Brewer coming down as we're gonna take this one right back. Trey diving on the ground as we're gonna hustle our way back down the floor. We're gonna be open here, give me the ball. Let's take the shot and let's hit the three. Trey, feeling it from downtown tonight as we now have 10 points. Josh Smith as we'll pick up another assist. He hits that easy mid-ranger. Final seconds of the third quarter here, 15 point lead. Trey takes the shot and that one's gonna be off the front and that will be it for three quarters. We're now back in it here later on in the fourth, 88-72 game. Trey still sitting at 10 points. We have three rebounds, six assists, but four turnovers. And this guy here guarding us has been giving us fits. And there we go, turnover number five. Patrick Beverly all over the place, and he's going to lead the break. And a follow with the foul. They'll get some free throws there. It's now a 90-76 game. At least the team still playing very well. James Harden to the rack is going to put that one in as it's now a 12-point game. Now they're in the full court press here. Trey asking for it and immediately runs into stupid Patrick Beverly. He gets to Harden. He gets it to Monty Eunice, and he's going to put it. No, foul. Back to the line for them. So now a 10-point game as this fourth quarter is suddenly just collapsed for us in this game as we started off so well, but Beverly giving us fits has completely ripped us apart in the fourth. But we still have that 12 point lead looking to hold on to the ball here. At least Beverly isn't guarding us. We're gonna get it to Carmelo and always you can rely on Carmelo to hit the big shots. Now a 14 point game last minute in 20 and it's gonna be another freaking turnover as Beverly again up to Ariza. He throws it down. We now have seven turnovers. That's three turnovers just in the fourth quarter. Final seconds here, last, hit, last half minute of the fourth. It's an 11 point game. And we're gonna look to end this one. Porzingis gonna lay that one in and that should do it here as we've given ourselves enough space. As this shot gonna be off Porzingis with the rebound, we're gonna be off from the break. Can we get one more bucket? Maybe an assist and maybe an alley-oop. Yes, John Henson throwing that one down. We'll get the win, 102 to 89, but a poor game from Trey. Started out well, but completely fell apart. We'll end with 10, three, eight, one, and two. Three for 14 from the field, two of eight from three, seven turnovers, and that one completely fell apart. You must be frustrated with all those mistakes out there tonight. What are you gonna do to try to limit those next time out? Uh, I just gotta be better, man. It's unacceptable how many times I turn the ball over. Unacceptable. I'm disappointed in myself, and I'm sure my teammates are disappointed in me too. So if anything, I gotta make this up to them. They deserve better. 
Well, the team won tonight, but certainly no thanks to you and that effort. Do you feel like you let down the fans with the way you played? Let down the fans? You serious? But we won the game, man. Won the game. The fans know what I could do. Just because I didn't get it done tonight don't change a thing. Yo, come back and we'll have a more serious talk next time if we actually lose. Next question, please. How is your relationship with the fans? Oh, I love the fans. I mean, they're everything to me. Hearing them cheering, chanting my name, even holding up cutouts of my head sometimes. I mean, it's an unbelievable feeling. This team goes out there every night trying to win games for them. Trying to bring a championship back home for them. They feed what we do each and every game. And that's why I try to get out there and give back. Spend time with them when I can. Show my appreciation. I love the fans, man. I love them.